Well, it's always exciting to have some star power here on CT Style. Today we have an actress with us who's won an Oscar, a Golden Globe, a Critics' Choice Award, and the list continues. You'll recognize her name. Here to talk to us about her new movie is Mira Servino. Welcome to CT Style, Mira. Thank you. So the name of the movie is Do You Believe? Would you set it up for us? Uh, yes, it is a movie about 12 different lives that intersect um, kind of, well, it's a faith-based movie, so it's kind of like a Christian crash. Um, and they're all people who are lost or searching for something or struggling with great adversity and um, through each other and through faith, uh, they, things sort of turn in dramatic ways. Um, and it's very beautiful, very moving. There's several points in the movie where you kind of you're, you're sort of driven to tears. Um, it's just a, a, a very emotional, beautiful film. It's a, a must-see here. So if you would describe your character, Samantha, to us. Uh, I am a woman who has recently become homeless, and I have a young daughter. I'm, I've been widowed, and in the process of grieving, I kind of lose lose the ability to really handle situations, and. It, I lose my job, um, I try and get another one, it doesn't work out, and eventually we end up on the street, we can't pay our rent and we're out on the street. And I feel an immense amount of remorse and shame that I can't be a good enough mom to my daughter to really protect her and keep her in a safe, you know, warm home environment. So I'm sort of at the edge of my rope. At the beginning of the film, I've brought my daughter to the emergency room because she has a high fever and, uh, and she is, not being seen by the hospital because, and I feel it's because we're homeless, but you know, it could just be the emergency room line, but I feel like we're not a high priority to anybody. And then a very kind stranger played by Brian Bosworth um, gives us his slot in the rotation, in the, you know, the treatment list so that my little girl can be seen and dealt with. And that becomes an important friendship throughout the film. Um, and he becomes a kind of catalyst for change in me. Sure. Uh, it seems kind of like an intense movie here. What attracted you to the project? Uh, well, uh, I had previously worked with the director, John Gunn, on a very beautiful film called Like Dandelion Dust with Barry Pepper and Cole Hauser. And I knew, excuse me. <coughs> Bless <Sorry>. you. Bless <laughs> you. Um, thank you. I knew that in his hands, this powerful emotional material would really be um, brought out to its best ability and I thought that the role was challenging and something that I could relate to because as a mother, I guess I have four children, um, 10 and under, and uh, it, it feels like the, the, the most important thing to you when you're a mom is are you doing right by your children? Are you taking good care of them? Are you, are you being the best mother you can be? And certainly if you've become homeless, uh, you have sort of failed on the sheltering them side of the equation sure. and giving them a sense of emotional well-being and safety. Uh, we sleep in our car in the story if, if the shelter is overcrowded and, you know, I try and comfort her and keep her warm. And so the, the plight of a woman who's in that position, who loves her child, but who has become weakened by, you know, a series of tragic events, uh, I, I, could, I could relate to her and, and feel a lot of empathy for her. Sure. Um, and my character is one of the characters in the film that I would say has the deepest crises of faith. You know, she, she had formerly been a somewhat faithful person, I think, someone who did go to church. And with the loss of her husband and her subsequent kind of plummet into, you know, these sort of abject cir circumstances, she is having a really hard time with faith, with the concept of faith. And she has a... Um, a kind of revolution of the heart sure. as the story goes along. Well, we will have um, to check it out, Mira. Which I think is really interesting to play someone who's, yeah. Yes, it, uh, it opens March 20th. We want to thank you so much for being here. Best of luck. Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much.